Hey, we got NBA 2K25, the silly trailer. This is what everyone's been waiting for, for the most part. And everyone, I know, probably about like 90% of the community could care less about the other stuff. They just want to see the city. That's all they play. So, um, we got Chris Smooth. Shout out to Chris Smooth. See what it's looking like. Here is the city trailer for NBA 2K25, and right off the bat, they're saying less running, more yeah, time. More running. Look, 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 look. Less running right around. Off the bat, they're saying more running it back. Oh, you just give us teleportation powers. You ain't have to, you ain't have to make the city smaller. Just give us teleportation powers. whoop de doo And for the people to run around in the city, they can do that. You don't have to make the city smaller. You just give us teleportation powers. Less running more time running it back so they made the city a lot smaller everything is more condensed they're also going to be honoring nba 2k 15 they're bringing back all the original courts sunset rivet city old flyers you're going to see that in this trailer the okay. my court is back and they actually have okay finally why did they take that out the game money hungry for the gatorade course bro that calls you vc to get on let's bring back the my course slider settings as you're practicing in your mind, that court, you put the sliders on the wreck. This dude like the you know, y'all don't know who the Anthony Melton is, bro. He's a role player in the NBA. Y'all don't know. As you're like that, the Anthony Melton practicing in your my court, you can put the sliders on the wreck in the park to kind of get a feel for how it's gonna be. Maybe get your timing down. Oh, the so, sliders? You got just the sliders in your mind? Ooh! In the park, As you're practicing in your my court. You can put the sliders on the wreck in the park to kind of get a feel for how it's going to be nice get that's nice timing down so that's a very interesting addition i'm beat everyone i'm gonna beat everyone with the 60 overall a new game mode called proving ground it's ranked and it doesn't look like it's going to be you're standing on spots it looks like it's going to be quick games matchmaking they have 1v1 2v2 3v3 the jump shot meter is disabled for this mode and it's also double rep when you're playing in there so obviously you're going to earn the most rep by playing that and the top five players on the leaderboard are going to win he's gonna get shot like that awards and they're going to reset every season let me know what you think in the comments that nelly? i know they ain't nelly bro season they got nelly in the after they had drewski in the game now they got nelly what are they gonna have them do a 360 between the legs spinorama windmill let me know what you think in the comment section i'll also leave a link to the blog Remember that? Remember last year? They just had Drewski on the beat, had him do like a 360 windmill or something like that? ...as well once it's available so you can read everything. My okay, got some more news. See if I don't get blocked with this one. Hey, we're joined by Eric Benish, VP of Bogginess. NBA Development at Visual Con Scott OG needs to come back. I'm sorry. Scott OG, where you at? Concepts, who's gonna break down all That's when 2K was good, bro. Scott OG. Exciting in the city in 2K25. Eric, welcome. Chris, Alexis, thank you so much for having me. The team has been working incredibly hard in the city this year. What's up, Chris? What's up, Alexis? To about today. A lot of it has been all user feedback from our community, <clears throat> which is a big driver for us. And so I'm really excited to tell everyone how you can play anywhere and win everywhere in the city this year. We've heard that there are a lot of new things in the city. What can players look forward to when playing NBA 2K25? So the city in NBA 2K25 is entirely brand new. And harkening back to that comment about how user feedback drives everything for us, the city is significantly smaller, it's much more intimate, okay, all and right. it's designed to get you all to, right, get to the pictures, man. in NBA history. And one really cool aspect of it is you can continue to add your own stars to this walk of fame uh, yeah. as you play through my career okay. in NBA titles. So you're okay. kind of designing the city yourself. They got the ride and the leap back. The piece of the entire affiliation is a beautiful Yeah, I was going to say watch the whole thing, but you know, they just, uh, I thought you were showing off everything. They just talking it's definitely bad. for the most it has part. All the things you're familiar with and that you love. Yeah, yeah, good job, my court back. Bring the my court back. What is this? You can play the games in my court. Can you play games in my court? Two well, K, don't do no slick stuff, bro. Don't, do, hey, don't try no slick shit. Two K. Really yeah, cool. I know how y'all get down sometimes. And difficulty set. Yeah, we're gonna bring back the my court, but we just gonna let you shoot in there. We can't let you play one on one or three or three against the world. I guess your uh your friends or whatnot. Okay, but you let us play. Okay, okay. Proving grounds. That's the new mode. Smooth we're talking about. No shot meter. More time leveling. All time making it a lot better. You can do optional co-op play with your friends this year. There are three brand new, beautiful street courts for you to play in, and mm. there are a whole new host of bosses. For mm. you, to you playing in a church? I know they ain't playing new, no church, baby. Play in, and They're playing in a church or uh 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 I forgot what it's called, sanctuary. There are a whole new. They're playing in a sanctuary. 
host of bosses for you to beat. Again, you can do it with your friends if you want. And you can play for amazing cosmetic rewards this year. They're really unique. Street ball. So it's like, yeah, they could take a page out and be able to put it, put Venice Beach on there. They had Sunset Beach. Whoop de doo. Put the rock with the rocker. 25, I think, is going to be another big hit for us. It's so okay to take ideas from other companies, 2K. You did it for Fortnite. You're saying it sounds like there's a lot of new content for players to enjoy this year. There yeah. is, Chris. I'm not even done yet. Triple Threat Last Park. We learned about Triple Threat Park mm -hmm. experience right in the city. And it's yep. Like they thought it was a park. You think this is the park right here? <laughs> Everyone thought it was the park until it says only for my team. <laughs> Whatever. They up there teasing us. Something that I'm really, really excited about for long time players of my career to really enjoy. This entire new park is the remaster of NBA 2K16's Rivet City Rooftop Court. We remastered it, recreated it. It uses next-gen tech, next-gen lighting. It looks amazing. It's a one-to-one -one homage of the original park. If you were at all a fan of that, I strongly encourage you to get in here and try this experience out. Shout out to Rivet City fans. I have so many great memories playing on those parks. So is there any chance of more nostalgia in NBA 2K25? In NBA 2K25, we're celebrating NBA 2K15. We're bringing back all four My Park courts. Remax four. Sunset Beach, Rivet City, Old Town. What's the fourth one? Mastered for users to play. That includes Sun Drenched Sunset Park, the Industrial Rivet City. We have the Old Town Flyers uh -huh. Park, and of course, that year we had the My Park Championship. Old Town won, and they got an aircraft carrier. We're bringing that back as well. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought they were gonna bring back Rookieville. <laughs> y'all remember Rookieville? They had y'all in jail, bro. Yeah, doesn't wearing all orange. Well, these are all getting HD remasters down to the very last detail. Next you mean 4K? They are HD. Tech, next gen lighting, just like we did with the Rivet City rooftop court. It's been a long time, but for many users, this will be for the first time. It's literally been over 10 years since people have played on these courts. We're going to be putting out one, you know, per season for the first four seasons. It's something I didn't want to put out as an event. Where Bro, get rid of the seasons, man. I don't want no seasons. Bro. Just go back to the old 2K, bro. No seasons, bro. Everything in the game that you have to offer, put it all that game day one, man. Leaderboard. Like, don't figure it out. Birds and people were sweating and trying to get to the top. Like, it's hey, all you want? Why right, y'all want a gatekeep now for seasons? Really not the vibe I was going for with these. This is about reliving past memories with your friends, having a great time. You're gonna earn 2x rep in this. That sweet 2 XP. Look, I'm ready to go on these now. Can you at least tell the fans which remaster is coming in season one? During the back half of season one, we're gonna go back and we're gonna visit the Old Town Flyers Park. And while competition was, you know, a major goal for the team this year, fun is ever at the top of our list. Another squad fun finder. thing we added to the game this year is called the Squad Finder. Squad it finder. is a place for you, like the name says, to go find like-minded players who are trying to achieve the same goals you are. It's a great way for you to establish some new connections, build some chemistry with new players to compete with. I like it. Okay, okay. I'm, I feel it. I feel it. And another fun thing we added to the game this year is a brand new the mode track. called The Track. What the, the Track hell? is an indoor karting warehouse where you can do a new race every single week, and the winner who has the best time at the end of each week wins 1 million VC. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the track, baby. No one's trying to pay for no VC, baby. The track. Catch me on the track, bro. Every day, every week, every second, every minute, bro. I ain't trying to pay for no VC, baby. Another thing we added to the game this year to really help out new users is called Casual Courts. It's kind yeah. of like your safe zone to play as a new user. The only people that can... <laughs> They gonna have someone on there with the 60 overall that's been playing 2K for years, beating everyone, bro. Oh, this court the casual. You won't ever see me on a casual court, bro. You don't need to say that. You, you could have called it something else. You don't gotta say casual court because you know what I'm saying. Both start with C. You don't need to be on for this, bro. You can step on these courts are other people who are new and inexperienced users to NBA 2K. These are a great way for new users just to learn the game. Accessibility was a major foundation of NBA 2K25, and that continues directly in the city. casual court. <laughs> One thing we added to the game this year is a little informational kiosk. We actually call them hollow helps. And whenever you activate them, you get a video of our very own Chris Manning and Shakedown telling you about what this building is about, what the experience is inside, what kind of difficulty level it is. Shout out to Shakedown 2012. Right fit for you. Come on, yeah, Mr. Ratchet, if you ready. Right down for the Shakedown. Ankle bully. 
if I do say so myself, the acting's pretty top-notch too, Eric. <laughs> Christy did a great job, I'm not gonna lie. And that brings us to the end of this NBA 2K25 courtside report on the city. Eric, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you, Chris, so much for having me here today. I want to thank everyone in the community for all the ongoing support you've given us for so many years. Please enjoy the game. We cannot wait for you to get it on launch day. And with that, we'll see all of you in the city where you can play anywhere and win everywhere. Let's go. All right, wait till here. Wait till the game come out to see what it really do. What it really do. You know, they do a good job hyping it up. That's their job. They're good at their job. Once we get our hands on the game, we'll be the judge. The real judges.